Well, yes, uh, today was a very slow day. Uh, I started this unit, I couldn't finish it. Uh, I'm gonna do, finish it up tomorrow, but to kill some time, I still got like an hour to go, something like that. Uh, I remember a while back, somebody said something about uh, tearing apart an AC compressor to see how the insides function and stuff like that. Well, I got real curious to know how these uh, Celtic Valeo compressors are built. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these apart. It actually gave out on us. So it's, I'm not gonna be tearing up a new compressor. It's a old compressor that didn't function, but nothing got seized, not, nothing got burned. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear it apart, see what the insides look like. All right, guys. And guys, I'm using a uh, damper puller. I mean, it's like, we don't plan on putting this one back together. It's just to see how they actually function. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to yank the hub off. I am going to save the hub because the bearing is okay on it. And this compressor was fairly new. It just gave out. Uh, magnet looks to be in place. Uh, internals probably... A, a, little piston or something gave out on it so let me go ahead and continue with this one. Oh, to get this off I did have to remove it's got two little C clips one on the outside holding that hub in and then this one holding this hub in so uh, let me go ahead and get a uh, my little impact and continue with this well I mean <clears throat> I'm also curious to know I mean here in the shop we do not rebuild AC compressors so I mean, we just kind of take them off and throw them away, replace it with a new one. So, this is going to be a learning experience for, for me too, so. I'm going to save this little magneto. You never know. One, we might decide to start repairing some of our compressors. So, and, oh, that's that, guys. And nothing back here. 12 millimeter bolts over here in front. six bolts they're long suckers because they go all the way to the bottom there's that and I believe this sucker's got a front a rear and then it splits in the center not 100% sure on that one guys, but oh, that's what it looks like. Yep, it splits in the middle guys. Check this out. There, there, and then of course here. So, let's take the rear, let's see how it looks in the back. And, okay. O-ring seal, back cover. Suction, discharge, and here, guys, it's got a plate with reeds. I'm, uh, these are the reed valves, I guess.
these I'm assuming it works kind of like a engine the valve closes and opens and it only allows pressure to go in one direction this is just a little plate the valve is actually down here softer metal uh, right now they all seem to be in the closed position and of course got this little gasket here uh, guys I'm not hundred percent sure as to the if I'm right on how this works but I'm just going by what I see let me show you there you go reeds softer metal these are the little reed valves you got three on this side all right here we can see the actual pistons oh cool this compressor has got dual action basically the the cam is in the middle when it turns it'll make these little pistons go in and out well this creates pressure and it does the same thing on this side let me show you I guess you can say it's this sucker works on both strokes. I don't know if we can compare it to a two-stroke engine or what, but and again guys I'm not using the proper tools. We don't rebuild these things. I was just curious. I just want to open it up and actually maybe even figure out what went wrong with this one. It'd be cool if we could rebuild them. Same thing. Seal. Another seal. Front plate. And another valve plate. Gasket. The valves and the actual plate. Here guys, let me get a pair of pliers and show you how the pistons, the dual, the dual action. Well guys, not all compressors work in the same fashion. Well, I mean, they all have to create a discharge and a suction, but they don't all have the dual cylinder or dual action like the way this one does. All right, if you can see here, when I turn it, pistons go up and down all right and the valves of course allow it to create a suction and a discharge and you see them functioning on this side in the same fashion all right this is not a how-to guys it's just curiosity cylinder bores needle bearing and then of course the pistons see that guys and while on this side is creating with a valve plate on there it, it, it would be creating pressure side and of course suction also all right Uh, let me let me pull this out. Housing, needle bearing, cylinder bores, and then of course, here it is, guys. I'm gonna call this, I don't know, let's, let's just call it a crank, dude. Little pistons here. It's got these little bearing that acts as a fr friction disc. And as this is turning, it'll make the 
piston go up and go down. I mean, it's, per, it's a, once you look at it, I mean, it's a pretty simple function, guys. Basically, it's just a wavy plate that'll cause that cylinder to just in, go in and out. And, I mean, bearing, thrust washer, thrust, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, guys. It's not that bad. Well, if you want to go ahead and try and put it back together. But, like I said, I mean, this is a non-function compressor, guys. So, I just want to show you guys how these things were put together. Or, uh, what actually made them work. What's what inside components that made this work. And... These little suckers are aluminum, but they're coated with some kind of a Teflon or something. And these are the little, uh, I guess, friction plates or whatever you want to call it. Because steel on aluminum, it would eat it up. So they put these in there. It's got like a little round little rocker. Falls in there. And there you go. So in, 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 rea in, in all reality, these things have three cylinders but but since they do a dual function I guess you can call it a six little pistons uh, this one here is a TM21 it's made by Saltec Valeo uh, why this one failed I didn't even pay attention guys but I mean all in all I think they make a pretty decent product guys I mean uh, we run our buses pretty hard they run year-round and uh, we replace compressors I'm gonna say every two years, give or take. So they've been holding up pretty decently, dude. Uh, I remember somebody asked me about the internals of that thing. Uh, that was a question leading towards how AC compressors work. So I just decided to tear one apart, see what it consisted of, what parts were inside of it, and how do they work and stuff like that. Uh, I don't, I don't repair AC compressors. I don't know much about them. I just, I was just curious, just like he was or whoever asked that question. And I just tore one apart for that reason, that reason only. Alright guys, appreciate you guys watching and uh, like and subscribe.